Fox Business alert. The financial fallout from the Italian cruise crash being felt on Wall Street. Shares of Carnival Cruise Lines, that's the owner of the ship that crashed in Italy, having its biggest one-day fall since right after 9-11. And the rest of the industry could be hit hard as well as travelers seeing pictures like these decide to vacation on land. Instead, travel specialist Mark Murphy says he expects cruise lines will be slashing prices in order to get customers on board. Mark is from Travel Alliance. Uh, so how do you get travel agents to, to book fares on cruises when people see these pictures? Well, number one, they have to understand that cruising is very safe. In general, this is very unusual. Last year, according to Cruise Lines International Association, 16 million people embarked on a cruise, and very few incidents occur at sea. But when it does happen like this... But it's like a tough this, sell. Let's, let's not cut corners. Right now, consumers sell. are concerned. And what the challenge is, 80% of consumers have never taken a cruise in the U.S., Right, so U.S. U.S. travelers, 80% haven't cruised. 20% have. The 20% that have cruised, they're okay with it. Right. They understand. The 80% is the challenge. Well, can the industry live for a while with just the 20%? Yeah, the industry's been going through a tough time right now. You've had the downturn in the economy that impacted all, all travel uh, suppliers, in particular the cruise lines. You've had the higher fuel prices, which, which impact them. But more so on the airfare. They position a lot of ships in Europe. Airfares went up. They've had to drop cruise prices, so the package price comes out to a number that is conducive to sell because the customer's concerned about the total cost, not the various components. And, you know, I've been interviewing a lot of the passengers on the Concordia, mm -hmm. And so many of them were newbies. They, they had never done a cruise before. And yeah. that's exactly the group that's going to be turned off by these pictures. Correct. First time cruisers. And that's the biggest challenge that, they, that they're going to have, bringing those so first time cruisers. How do they on. do it? Are they going to have to offer discounts like crazy or what? Well, I think you'll find during the peak periods, they, they command a huge premium because demand is always there no matter what's going on. It's during the off periods that you're going to see a reduction in yield or a cost per cabin. And that's going to come down. That's going to impact the bottom lines of Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and those folks, the publicly traded companies, as well as the privately held companies. Might they have to actually lose money as a loss no. leader in order to bring people in? No, because one thing about the cruise lines, they always make money and they deliver a great experience. So they get you on board. And then what they do is they have you gamble in, they have you buy and Sodas, you're going on excursions, you're having a bottle of I'm, wine. I'm laughing because you're I, I couldn't avoid things. gamble. I was, I was on a couple of cruises on the Crystal Line, which we'll talk about. Uh, but, but yeah, you just, you, you know, you really are enticed right. into all these things. And understand it's a salespeople. Well, it's a perishable product. So they're going to make sure that that ship doesn't sail unless it's full. And that's the key. And once they get you on board, they know on a per diem basis you're going to spend a certain amount of money based on the brand. So tends to be the lower end brands, the people actually tend to spend a lot more on gambling and other things and drinking. Mm -hmm. The more higher end brands, the premium brands, they spend, tend to spend a little less. So they have to play with those yields to get the number that they want as a brand and as a company. That's interesting, though, yeah. that the lower brands will spend more. I, I guess I'm kind of a cheap guy because I went on the higher brand, the Crystal Line, which is the right. top of the line, right? Absolutely. And it's I was wonderful. lured right into the casino. So I was yeah. one of the exceptions. But but what about Crystal? Do the higher end line take advantage now of what Carnival is going to be going through? I don't, saw I, their stock just plummet today. Well, I think it's going to affect everybody. So you're going to have that effect across the board. But the higher end brands tend to have experienced people that have traveled the world. And they've been to places like Egypt. I, I, I went to Egypt in November. I didn't have a care about it because I'm an experienced traveler. I wasn't concerned what the media was saying. I knew what was going on on the ground. I think the experienced traveler, there's going to be less of an impact for those folks because they're going to want to go on vacation. Also, uh, companies and brands like Crystal tend to skew older and therefore you say you know what I've only got 10 15 20 years left to go I'm taking advantage I'm getting out I'm taking a vacation and I think that's what you're going to find people doing will companies though have to have to dry dock certain boats I was just in, in St. Thomas they had six big cruise ships coming in every other day. Right. There are a lot of ships out there. Will some of them have to be dry docked? No, not at all. Not at all. These ships are going to continue to sail. They're state of the art. What they'll do is they'll continue to bring out new ships. And I believe there's about seven new ships coming out. Disney has the Disney Fantasy coming out oh, wow. uh, the first quarter of this year. So you're going to still see more product rolling out. And you're going to see some of the older ships be refurbished and renewed and refreshed and brought to the market as well. I wish I had young kids again. I'd love to take them on one of those hey, Disney You cruises. can even go on a Disney cruise. Uh, I don't know. I know. Without a young kid, maybe I could rent a young child to do that. Right. We've we got to leave it at that. Mark Murphy, good to see you. Thanks Thank very much for coming in. Well, stock.